Now, I'm told by centrist Democrats and the media that Bernie Sanders shouldn't be the nominee, particularly because the right hasn't even get gotten started on him yet. He hasn't been vetted. He hasn't been criticized by the right yet. And let me tell you something, man. Once they lash into Bernie, it's a wrap for Bernie, and he's going to crumble. And so, therefore, we need somebody who's been vetted, somebody who's stronger. I mean, these are the arguments that they make. So here we have a right-wing commentator by the name of Mark Levin. Um, colossally annoying, really dumb. Um, and he's giving us a taste here of what we have to look forward to if there is a Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump election. Let's see those strong arguments that, you know, now the right is starting to vet Bernie, and it is devastating. So all he's about are radical, statist, Marxist ideas. This man has never gotten dirt under his fingernails. This man has never lied down under a car to look at the bottom of the car to change the oil. This man, to the best of my knowledge, never changed a tire. I know he's never done an operation. I know he's never taken blood. I don't know how he can run hospitals. He doesn't know enough about hospitals. But he knows everything. He says he knows everything. And it should tell you something also. This is a man born in Brooklyn, New York. Where does he wind up? In Vermont. He talks about the society being racist from the top to the bottom, racist throughout. Why did he choose Vermont? Why does he live in Vermont? Why didn't he choose another place? Why didn't he choose a town like Newark or Camden or East Palo Alto or East St. Louis? Why didn't he pick any of these really tough majority minority towns? Why didn't he pick them? Because he's racist from top to bottom. That's why. I like how he does, like, the equivalent of uh, spiking the football in the end zone. Like, he thinks he nailed it, and he, like, takes his glasses off. Like, you know what, bro? Yeah, I think he's racist. I think he's racist. He does this weird thing that's like, got him. <laughs> got him, bro. Oh, Bernie, I got you, bro. The funniest thing about this is one of the arguments that comes all the time from the far right is like, oh, you know, these lefties, all they do is talk about race. It's the only thing they have is they just wantonly accuse people of racism and like, hey, let me tell you something, man. Just because you disagree with somebody doesn't mean they're by definition a racist, okay? All you guys do is see through the lens of identity. And Mark Levin does exactly that. Well, Bernie Sanders, his nasally ass voice is sort of like Ted Cruz. Bernie Sanders moved to Vermont. Because he's a racist. <laughs> really? So if you move to Vermont, you are by definition racist. That seems like you're doing the exact thing you accuse the left of doing. Uh, I don't know, but I'll fill in the blank and just accuse you of bigotry. Wow, Mark, really deep. <laughs> this is all they got, man. They got nothing. They got nothing. They got nothing. Uh, I will give him credit for being original, at least, because, you know... What are we used to hearing all the time when it comes to Venezuela? 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 What about Venezuela? Venezuela? So that's 90% of the time from idiots on the right you get. But <laughs> you like Bernie, bro? What about Venezuela? <laughs> As if we're going to be like, oh, fuck, man. Yeah. Dog, I never thought of that. You're right. They're not doing well over there. I forgot. Remember when Bernie proposed the let's do everything Maduro did act? <laughs> and by the way, I'm not trying to downplay the impact of U.S. sanctions because that also screwed Venezuela. But what they try to do is take whatever Bernie says Every, every flavor and variety of leftism is the same to these simpletons and these smear merchants. So they will try to take somebody who's a mild social democrat in the mold of FDR and turn him into an authoritarian communist. So just so everybody knows, that is the most obvious straw man in the world. In the same way that there's a difference on the right between somebody who's a libertarian 
somebody who's a paleoconservative versus somebody who's a neoconservative or somebody who's a fascist. For some reason, all these clowns understand, what, what do you, you, you can't just accuse everybody on the right of being a fascist. There's, you know, different kinds of right-wing beliefs. Right, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, you know, you can't call somebody who's a libertarian, they're, they're not a fascist. And if you say that they are, you're just being sloppy in your thinking or you're smearing them. By the same token, there's a difference between libertarian leftist philosophies, there's statist versions of leftism, there's anti-statist versions of leftism, there's, you know, market socialism, there's... There are all kinds of ideologies on the left, and Bernie is just a standard Scandinavian model social democrat carrying out FDR's New Deal legacy, and they have nothing. So, you know, this is, this is where we're at. He says, oh, he's a radical statist Marxist. And, uh, of course, he has to go from there to... Bernie doesn't know how to draw blood or run the hospitals. Right, Mark, because that's the idea. The idea is with Medicare for All, Bernie Sanders is himself physically there taking the blood and uh, performing the surgeries. Do you not, like, do you, when you go to bed at night, do you think, like, man, I'm a giant fraud? Because you should think that. Because, <laughs> again, you're not even trying to be fair to people who disagree with you. If you want to say, hey, here's what Bernie actually believes, and let me tell you why I disagree, but I will accurately categorize his beliefs. That's fine, man. That's the free marketplace of ideas and open discussion, and that's all fun. But when you start saying, no, he, he's a radical statist Marxist, and he wants to run the hospitals personally, and he thinks he knows everything. No, he doesn't. You know who's the smuggest motherfucker on the planet who really acts like they know everything? You. You are. I've listened to your show before. It's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard in my life, okay? But, but when you have to go to that extent, you, there's such a lack of actual criticism that you end up going to he's a racist because he lives in Vermont then I have no words for you and I have nothing but mockery and scorn for you because again you, what you're doing is you're demonstrating that that's all you're worthy of okay that's all I know you know you think you're a genius and you think you're entertaining but really you're a smug motherfucker who just straw mans everybody you disagree with massively. And there is no substance there. There's no there there. But ultimately, I want to thank you. Because it's people like you that will make a Bernie versus Trump race easier. Because guess what? All Any advice that Mark Levin would give Donald Trump, if Trump takes that advice in running against Bernie Sanders, then Bernie wins. It's funny, because Trump has way better instincts than all of these idiots on the right. Ted Cruz, Mark Levin, Rush Limbaugh, you name them. Maybe the only people who are close to Trump in terms of instincts would be Tucker Carlson and Steve Bannon. Now, I disagree with them massively on a variety of issues, of course. But they're smart enough to know certain lanes that they can't take. Mark Levin does not know that. So uh, he'll just be like, the Marxist! Mm, racist! Me! I like how I made him Ted Cruz now with the me. But uh, there you have it, guys. This is, the, this is the vetting that we've been warned about. This is the right-wing attacks against Bernie that we've been warned about. Namely, total hyperbolic bullshit that'll probably help him.